In this video, let us see how to deploy a Flask project on Python anywhere. So this is the Python project that we will deploy. To deploy the Flask, just go to the pythonanywhere.com. So this is the website. To get started, click on the start running Python in less than a minute. This will open a new page that will ask us to sign in. Click on create a beginner account. So give your basic details and register yourself here. So I will continue after I finish my registration. As you can see, I'm using a temp mail here. So, I have, so let me click on this register button. So this is the Python Anywhere dashboard. So before we proceed ahead, let's upload all our Python projects to the GitHub repository. As you can see, I have uploaded all my project files to this GitHub repository. So this is my project files. I have uploaded all that in my pro GitHub repository. So do this step before you proceed ahead. After you have uh, uploaded all your project files, let's verify our email address here. Now our email address has been confirmed. So to deploy the flask, click on web. It will open up a new page here. Here we have, currently we don't have any web apps. Click on add new web app on the left hand side. So this is the procedure to create a new web app. Click on next and select Flask and select the latest Python version and click on next. We will change this letter so click on next now. Now we have created the web app. It's time to configure it so that we can deploy our Flask. First of all, we will have to clone the repository into this web app. For this, just click on consoles and click on bash. It will open a few new Bash shell. We will create a virtual environment here so that we can install all our Python dependencies inside this virtual environment. To create a virtual environment, type the following command make virtual environment flask and, and choose the Python version. In this case, I'm going to choose the Python 3.10. So let's press enter. So now we have activated the virtual environment. So let's copy the URL of the GitHub repository and we will clone that repository here. Git clone and paste the URL here. Now we have successfully cloned the GitHub repository. It's time to install all the dependencies here. In the Python project, I have the requirements.txt file. So let's install all these requirements into our bash shell here. For this, if you use the ls command, we have the savings account folder. Let's use the cd command to jump into that folder. If we use the ls command now, you can see that we have a requirements.txt file. Let's use that to install all our Python dependencies. pip install minus r requirements.txt. As you can see, it starts installing all the requirements we need for the project. Now we have installed all the requirements. If you go to the files, we have a new folder called the savings account. Click on that. And inside that, we have all the project files. So let me delete these PDF files. We don't need that. Now let's go to the web. So let's change the source code directory to savings account. And also change the working directory. And if you click on go to directory, it will open up the folder that contains all your files. So let me go back and select the web again. If you want to change the Python version, you can do that from here. And let's also install our a virtual environment. Flask is the virtual environment that we have created. And next, we need to configure the WSGA file. So click on this link and also change the uh, project uh, form here. Change the my site to savings account. And here we need to change where our app is defined. In my project folder, the app is defined in the savings package. Insert, you can see that. I have defined the app in the savings folder inside the init file. Basically, it acts as a package. So from savings, we import the app. So let me rename the Flask app to savings. So let's save now. Here, provide your part where your app is defined. So let me save the file now. If you go to the web again, click on this reload. And now we have a configure all the file settings. So let's click on the link to visit our website. So we got a error. So let's click on this error log to see what went wrong. Okay, I have misspelled the package name. As you can see, savings is I missed the S. So let me go back and uh, correct the package name. So let me click on the configuration uh, file. I have missed the S here. This will be savings. Now save and go to the phone. Again, reload and uh, 
Now click on the link to visit our website. As you can see, our Flask app has been successfully deployed. You can see that we have a URL followed by my username dot python anywhere dot com. So let me show you a quick demo of this Flask app. So let's click on register and provide the username, email and password. Now we have created the account. Use the same information to log in. This is the dashboard. Basically this Flask card is about the savings account. We can deposit and we can also withdraw some money. If you want to deposit some amount, click on this deposit or that we need account. So let's go to dashboard and copy the account number. So this is our account number. You can deposit again. Let's paste the account number here. And also choose this transaction type deposit. I'm going to deposit 10,000 here. So let's click on submit. Now our transaction is pending. If you see other status, we can see that our transaction is pending. The admin have to approve this transaction. So let me open up a new tab and go to the admin panel. Let me change the API to admin. I will provide the details for the admin. Let me copy the account number and paste it in the account information to check if there are any transactions pending. You can see that. Let me change the pending to approve. Now if you go to the user dashboard, uh, let me refresh it. You can see that the status has been changed from pending to approve and 10,000 has been uh, deposited into our account details. If you want to download the transaction details, you can choose the from date and to date or click on download to generate your PDF report. So you can see the PDF report starts downloading. Let me open that file and show you the PDF report. So this is the PDF report uh, where we have the username, account number, balance and the transaction details. The withdrawal process is similar to deposit. So let me paste the account number here and change the transaction type to withdraw and withdraw some amount 500 as you can see the status is ending let me go to the admin panel and, uh, and approve the request let's paste the account number to see if there are any requests let me change the status to approve and click on update now the status has been changed to approve and 500 has been withdrawn from our account but again if you want to get the pdf details you can choose the from date and to date to get the pdf report if I open that PDF report now, you can see all the transaction details. You can see that our latest detail has been added successfully. So if you like this Flask project, you can check the you can check the GitHub code in the description. So this is how you deploy a Flask project in the Python anywhere.